I am going to challenge you to be incredible with a disability. It is our turn to be the people that other people look up to. After you listen to this, I want you to go out and knock down the walls for people with disabilities. It is Lisa and Chris again and we are going to challenge you to be a superhuman. First are you tired of hearing someone calling you disabled, cripple, retarded, or a loser? I know I am tired of hearing this. Every name or label that people put us say that we are broken in some way. Am I broken in some way? I don't think so. I can think on my own. I can communicate. I can smile. I can laugh. I can work. I can encourage others. I can do millions of incredible things. So let's just drop all words that describe us as broken because we are not broken. We as society make things that are useful but not pleasing to the eye. People see a wheelchair as a negative thing, but if we can spice up the look of the chair to something like a Jaguar F-Type, kids will have a lot of friends who will be around because they have a really cool chair. Or a guy or a woman in this chair will get people coming up to them and talking. Right now people just see us as broken with the dull equipment. Prom is coming soon and some school districts have proms for special needs students. They think they are doing the right thing. The right thing is in quotes. Is it the right thing to do or is it easier to do? I think when you try to exclude the students with disabilities and hold another prom special for these students, you are telling them they are not in the right crowd. When I was in high school, I went to my prom with all of my friends in my classes. So did Lisa. Let's get to the bottom of this. The reason why they do this is that they are afraid that the parents of the other students might speak up. If I was the principal, I would have the parents tell the students with disabilities that they could not go to the prom and see how they react. It is not right at all. If we look at the possibilities that are out there, we can change the perception of people. If we cannot change every single thing that is a person with a disability use, we can drop the negative words. Why can't we just say I am Chris or Tom or Lisa or Mary? Isn't it who we are? The disability is just an attribute of who we are. Do people introduce themselves as having cancer or a heart condition? No, so we do not have to introduce someone having a disability. To me, that would be the best thing that society could give to us. I am not saying that will happen, but it is something to think about for sure. Getting back to the concept of superhuman. I don't mean Superman or Batman. I mean be the person that you want to be. If people exclude you from the things that you want to do, stand up for what you want. Change your life to how you want it to be. That is exactly what I am doing. I don't want to work for another company again because I want to be my own boss. How can I top that? I really, really can't. My feelings are the same. I I just want to be my own person. I just want to change people's perspectives of what a disability does. It's not an inability, it's just something some people are born with and they have to show that we can do more than the average person. Well, we went to a conference today, I mean this week, me and Chris, and people, we sold our books today, we sold our books this week, and just so the audience knows, we had a very successful time. We said, we sold 29 books through the whole conference, and everybody's like, you should be so proud of yourselves, because... You accomplished this. You did this. 
not a lot of people can sit down and write a book like we did. So we're superhumans because we set a goal and we did it. So please follow in our footsteps. Our foot wheels, as I like to say. Please. We are Disability Awareness, and we talk about how the disability community can help society as a whole. If you like this video, and aren't a subscriber, please subscribe to our channel. If you have a question or a comment, please put it down below. Here at Disability Awareness, we do two videos per week, one on Tuesday and one on Friday. So we will see you on Friday. It's Lisa and Chris signing off.